Hi everybody, this is Bufina2. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to create that tripod behind me so, so that you could film phones or tablets vertically downwards. This is what we will be creating. Uh, it got two legs. The legs got bases and a horizontal timber for placing the camera. And that's how the camera is placed. M6 screw. It doesn't have to be 300 millimeter long, but that was what's available. You need timber. Again, this is 2.4 meter, but we're gonna cut it now. So measure it and cut equal lengths. Another thing you need is a mitre block, place the timber on it, hold this straight, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Now we will mark the middle of it, which is 50 centimeter or let's say 20 inch put the mark right in the middle center from either side select a 5 millimeter drill bit it should be 5 not 6 it needs to be smaller so that it will be tight Now get the screw and put it in that hole that we just made. Just turn it around in the clockwise direction. Just keep doing that. It will take you some time, but it will eventually get in. Wearing a glove can help you to turn it faster. Here you can see the screw has come out from the other side. Just that much is enough. Don't make it more. You can try it with our camera. Just put the camera on and turn the camera around and you can see that it fits well. So we can carry on with the other work. We get back to the timber and we mark this time 40 centimeter. We repeat the same thing and we start cutting the 40 centimeter uh, timber. Now we put one on top of the other. We make sure that the bottom of both match each other and mark a straight line across to cut the same size. We also need 6 mm nut to match the screw. Put the nut on the screw and turn it around. Another thing that we need is a junior hacksaw. Now we cut that extra length that we had of that screw. Now we need to drill a 5mm hole exactly in the center of the top of that 40cm. The hole center is 2cm. Now mark the center of the width. Make a hole now on that mark. Now take the screw and put it into the hole and turn it, wear a glove that helps in turning it. Just keep turning it until it becomes tight and goes deep into that hole. Now use the hacksaw and a, a nice length away from the surface 
mark it there and start the cutting now take the other wood and put them together and start turning it around until it becomes tight do the same thing with the other leg now mark it right the center is around two centimeter just make a circle mark start drilling the hole on that mark vary your grooves and put the other screw in that hole and start turning until it becomes tight same as the other leg put the hacksaw onto the screw mark a bit of a distance from the surface and start cutting Now put the other leg onto the screw and start turning it around. Now we need to cut the base of the legs. So mark 30 cm and now we start cutting the 30 cm base. It can be 20, it's up to you. Now we need some Godira wood glue, put it on one end, just like that. Now take the base of the foot and put it on that glue and press it hard and make it so that the bottom would be flat. Now repeat the same thing with the other base of the foot for the other foot. Then you can put a knot in the middle one in here. As you can see, we got one long timber, two legs. The two legs got the two bases and this stands straight just like that. Lovely. What you need to do next is to put them straight just in this direction. You can see the hole here and the screw that we inserted. So I take the long wood and I put it onto that hole like that. It goes very well. And I do the same thing with the other leg. It simply goes in. That's how it looks. Now this is the middle and put the camera on and start turning it. And it's now ready to film on the vertically downwards direction. So you can see my phone is now at the bottom and the camera at the top and I can start filming anything on my camera for you guys another good feature about this design is that you can rotate the base you can see I can do it in this shape depends how much space you go in different directions you can rotate them the way you want and this is nicely tight and secure you're sure you're not gonna fall great it's as easy as that I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learn how to make that tripod behind me for filming vertically downwards on your phone or tablet and you can stick any camera onto that it can take quite a heavy weight uh, not just a simple digital camera you can use a DSLR which I use most of the time but I'm not filming the DSLR for this film so I couldn't put that on to that tripod once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.